Hello and welcome to another maths tutorial supporting Upper University students studying the module TM112 Introduction to Computing and Information Technology Part 2. This tutorial is looking at the representation of binary numbers in scientific notation. We saw in TM111 uh, that we can have a large number with lots and lots of zeros in it and we can represent this in a more compact way in which we move the decimal point in this case it's to the left because we're looking at 93 million which is the miles is the distance from the earth to the sun it's an average value but by moving that decimal point one two three four five six seven times it will appear between the nine and the three and i can represent this large number in a much shorter format uh, as 9.3 times 10 to the power of 7, where 7 is obviously the number of times we move that decimal point to the left. We leave the decimal point between the leading digit and the next set of decimal places, and we call this scientific notation. The 9 is the leading digit, the point 3 is the decimal places. Generally speaking, we can represent any number in scientific notation and it's of this particular form b is what's called the base of the number we've just seen earlier that we looked at uh, number 10 as a base but when we look at binary systems of course our base is the number two but we, this applies for any base of systems whatever the counting might be so b is the base value a is a real number it's a decimal number uh, but the number to the left of the decimal point must be uh, greater or equal to 1, but less than b, where b is the base. So in the previous example, uh, 10 was the base, so a can be any number from 1 up to a number less than 10, which is 9. So when we look at a base 2, uh, we're only going to have one number there, aren't we? Because it's got to be greater than one, but less than one. So the answer is only one. So uh, we're going to have a very unique case when we look at binary numbers. N is a positive integer, it's a whole number. And this represents the number of times we move a decimal point. And don't forget, we can move a decimal point to the left and we can move it to the right. In the previous example, I moved it to the left and my power of 10 was plus seven. If I move the decimal point to the left, the power is a plus, but on some numbers we move it to the right, in which case the power becomes negative. So we use, we tend to use scientific notation in shorthand representation of, uh, instead of using lots and lots of zeros, instead of writing out large numbers with lots and lots of zeros in them, which can cause mistakes, we represent them in scientific notation, which is a little bit more compact. But also as technologists, don't forget in our numbers, very often we just want to convey magnitude. We don't always want to convey preciseness. So if I say my broadband speed is 2.0 times 10 to the power of 7 bits per second, that's not an accurate figure. I'm not going to get that all the time. But that is roughly, in terms of actually for calculations and for general discussion, that number is actually good enough. So we've seen from a previous video that I can represent a uh, decimal fraction, or uh, sorry, a decimal number, including a fractional part. We can represent it in a binary format. So for instance, here's a binary decimal number, uh, 1010.110. So we know from our representation of binary numbers, anything to the left of the decimal point, we have positive powers of two, and anything to the right of the decimal point, we have uh, powers of two with a negative sign. So they're fractional parts to the right, whole number parts to the left. Now, we can convert this to scientific notation by applying the rule that we've always used. So we move that decimal point left or right. If I move it to the left, think about the sign as being a positive sign on the on the on the uh, uh, scientific exponent on the on the on the par that we multiplied the number by uh, and if we move it to the left it becomes negative the power so in this particular case uh, to turn this into a, uh, a binary number in scientific notation I'm going to move that decimal point one two three places to the left I'm going to move it three places to the left so 
this that's our number 1010.110 is going to become a binary number 1.0101110 times 2 to the power of 3 because I've moved the decimal point three places to the left which is positive so it's going to be 2 to the power of plus 3 uh, we can probably drop that last zero because it doesn't contain any real information. Just to finish off this concept, let's just have a look at how we would convert these sorts of binary numbers. 10.010, uh, 0.00101, and a big binary number, and a slightly bigger, smaller binary decimal number. Well, just obey the rules. OK, then in the top digit there, 10.10, I'm going to move the decimal point one place to the left. I'm going to move it one place to the left. So my power of two is going to be one. In the second digit there, we're going to move the decimal point to the right, which is negative, And I'm going to move it one, two, three places. So my power of two is going to be a minus three. My slightly larger number, uh, again, just obey the rules. I'm just going to move that decimal point one, two, three, four, five, six, seven places to the left. To the left means positive. So my power of two is going to be a plus value. And likewise, at the bottom there, I've got a, a slightly bigger negative number. But it doesn't matter as long as I can count properly. How far can I move that decimal point? One, two, three, four, five places to the right. And since I'm moving it to the right, the power will be negative. So there's the solutions to these very, very simple uh, problems. Uh, don't forget with binary numbers, just the same as with uh, deanery numbers we've looked at, when we convert to scientific notation, the rules are exactly the same. It's just the base of our counting system has changed. So we're in TM111, uh, we would only looking at deanery, in which case my base was 10, so my scientific notation was something like 2.0 times 10 to the power of 7. This is binary, so I'm going to get answers like 1.01 times 2 to the power of a number. Okay, so th think very carefully when we're in this system that we're in a binary system, so we're using base 2 in our counting system. Well, that's the end of this very short video looking at scientific notation, uh, uh, binary numbers in scientific notation. Uh, further maths resources can be found on that particular website. And I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, see you another time.